friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Donio, but you can call me Dunny B. I'm sure as you've seen by the title, it is laundry day. I am resetting for the week. And what that means is I'm taking all the clothes that we have worn this week. Every week, uh, my son's daycare sends home his, his blankets so they can get washed for the week as well. And in the meantime, while I'm washing, I am going to be cooking Sunday dinner because yesterday is Sunday. So I'm going to be cooking Sunday's dinner. I'm going to be doing a roast, some yams, um, some cabbage, and some rice because you know the roast is gonna make a little gravy or au jus. And I'm gonna do a Mississippi style roast. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. We're putting the roast in the oven and everything. So now let me show you the clothes that I am going to be washing on today. I have these baskets of clothing that I need to go ahead and sort. And then while I go over to the laundry room, uh, Hunter is in there sleeping. See, that's my son's school blanket that needs to be washed. And then I have these clothes here that needs to be washed. Um, that basket of clothes needs to be washed as well. And that those are clean and there's some more that are in the dryer. I tried to start washing clothes on yesterday, but life had another uh, another plan for me. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm still going to insert it because I started washing clothes yesterday. <laughs> I put a load of towels into the washer and life said, ha ha ha, you thought that you were in charge of today. And you're not. So I am going to show you, I'm going to start from yesterday. Um, was showing you what it looked like me putting those in the washer and then I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it here or there or my next load yes I'm gonna fast forward to the next load but so without further ado let's get washing drying folding and repeating so like I told you, I did start the previous day with them putting a load of towels in the dryer. So this is what that looks like with me um, washing those towels. I was able to wash and dry those, but I was unable to put anything else in the washer. Now we are caught up to current time and I am going to start on my roast because I know it's going to take a couple hours for it to cook. So right now I'm just going to pan sear it by putting a little olive oil in my cast iron skillet. Once it is screaming hot, I am going to go ahead and put in my roast and I am going to brown it on all four sides. Once I brown it, I am going to use all that that um, olive oil and the bits that are at the bottom of the skillet and place some onions in there until they get all soft then I am going to place some beef stock in there in order to scrape up those bits and get all that yummy goodness off the bottom and I am going to pour this into my uh, my Dutch oven and place it in the oven for 425 minutes I mean, I apologize for so 425 degrees and I kept it in there in the oven for about two hours. Now with this Mississippi style roast, what that calls for is a packet of ranch dressing, um, the dry mix as well as a packet of au jus. So I'm going to open up this packet and I'm just going to sprinkle that on top and then some pepperoncini um, peppers. They're not spicy, but too many can be spicy. I learned that the hard way the first time. So I'm just going to place a little of the juice in there and I'm only going to place two peppers in here because we're going to be feeding this to the boys as well. I almost forgot that this recipe does call for a stick of butter as well. I think that that is extremely too much butter. So right now I am only going to use a half a stick of butter. And I think next time I won't use butter at all. For those of you who are new, 
Let me take this time out to introduce myself. My name is Danielle, but you can call me Donnie B. I am a wife to my husband, Freddie, and I am a mom to two beautiful little boys by the names of Hunter and Carter. Here on my channel, you'll basically find all things me, which includes cook with me's, cling with me's. I do some ha natural hair tutorials here and there. I do mom-like vlogs. I do lifestyle vlogs. I love to vlog, so make sure you're checking out my vlogs as well and quite a bit more. Also, guys, I am becoming more active on my Instagram page, so please make sure you go by and you follow me on Instagram. I'm going to leave my link down below so you can go to my page and follow me. So without further ado, let's keep cleaning. Why you wanna let me go now, now, now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know now. that this downy comb is one of my favorite scents. I also tend to use my dryer sheets more than one time. How many of you use your dryer sheets more than one time? And if you do use it more than one time, how many times do you get a use out of one of your sheets? Um, after one load in the dryer, I noticed that it still smells good, so why not continue to use it? So I'll just throw it back in there along with some, um, some more clothes, and they come out smelling just as good as the previous load that I used with the initial use. Tell me now if you want out What are you saying? Come on and sit it out I'm about to lose my mind again How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? And here's dinner. I decided to take a break in between loads. Now, my son's onesies tend to get very stained because he loves macaroni and cheese. And to be completely honest, every now and then he does still have blowouts, um, even though he's like one year old. But this is what the way that I have found in order to clean um, those onesies and get them all white again. What I do is I soak them in a sink full of hot water along with some bleach as well as some um, the Arm & Hammer Laundry Boost and it gets it gets them all white over all over again um, I could use the rinse cycle or the soaking cycle in my washing machine but if I did that then that would stop me from washing more and more loads of clothes so my whites are usually the last load of clothes that I wash I don't know why for some reason in my head I feel as though the bleach that I am putting into the washing machine would somehow bleed over into um, the other clothes so I always leave the whites for last I know this is probably just the mental thing but hey this is what I do and this works for me and it keeps me sane um, but you know soaking them in the sink in the bathroom while everything else is washing it works perfectly for me
To be completely honest, these wash days did start to take a toll on me. Um, for the simple fact, it seemed like every time I felt as though I was almost done washing clothes, here comes another load. Um, but I, the thing that kept me going was the fact that um, once I washed a load, I was able to fold and put them up and I felt like a sense of accomplishment So like when things get hard and times get hard Just look at the, the brighter side, you know and see how much you have accomplished within what you were doing Or should I say good morning because it is the next morning I tried so hard to get all of those clothes washed on yesterday washed dried and folded and I was looking at the clock and it was 12 a.m. and it was time to go to bed go to sleep I have two more loads um, I just finished off my last load last night and made sure that I put it in the dryer so it didn't sit in the washer all night but right now I have a, clothes, a load of whites and a load of um, reds and blacks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those in the washer and I'm going to wrap up the day or whatever because it has been a long day. So <laughs> a long three days that is. So. Two more loads to go. I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel as I put this load into the washing machine. Um, also, what I am going to be using is this garment bag that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Just going to put uh, my bra inside of this garment bag and then I'm going to go ahead and toss that into um, the dryer so you know the hooks that's on the bra does not get tangled up on something else because I have had the hooks get tangled on other clothing in the washing machine and it completely bends it so to avoid it putting it in a garment bag um, does help out so this is the result I let the um, I let them sit overnight I end up letting them sit overnight but as you can see they're pretty clean now stains are pretty much gone so now I'm just gonna go in and wash them. See, no stains. This method works. tuning in to another episode of Donnie B TV on your way out don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time enjoy your day <laughs>